people assume that in these countries like Belarus, the, the opposition doesn't speak up against uh, strongly enough because they don't hear it in the media. And I, I think that that when you pay attention to what's written on the wall, that they really do. I first decided to pursue this topic. I was living in St. Petersburg in 2009, and I was surprised to find that in a city so historical and is covered with explicitly political stencils about uh, political prisoners, about nuclear policy, about political leadership, etc. It is a very dynamic art, so it allowed me to see the the way that it changed and the discourse that took place in the streets. And one day you would see something, the next day it would be buffed up, the next day there would be a response. So um, that was very interesting. In terms of how I connected with the artists, I, it was amazing. I used social networking, and then from there you kind of earn the trust and they recommend you to others. In Riga, Latvia, it was explicitly economic-related. I mean, it was all about certain bankers that are destroying Riga and Latvia, the Latvian economy, per their concessions to the EU, and, and stop the G8 and stuff like that. And then you would go to Hungary, where it was very, very partisan. It was all about the political parties there, um, Jobbik and, and Fidesz and, and certain political actions that the parties and the party leaders were taking. And then in Belarus, it was very, very, very anti-Lukashenko. Uh, we were, it was around the 3rd of July, which is when the clapping protests were the rep attempted revolution in Belarus. And uh, so this, that was Sunday, and this was probably, there was another revolution attempt on Wednesday, which also failed. And then on Friday, we were on a bus with a friend a Belarusian uh, friend, and we were just mid-conversation, and we were stopped in a light right downtown uh, Minsk, and I looked out the window, and I saw, you know, Luka sucks in Russian, uh, painted onto a bus station, and I know that that is a huge offense. That person could go to prison for a very long time. But then you found another, as you would find, we found in, in Belarus these, uh, it's called and it means the chase in English. And it, it's uh, we found it in the seven-story parking garage that Lukashenko decided to build that's never actually been used. And so uh, there, it's a symbol that was used until, I think, 1995. And then he decided to remove it from the official rhetoric. So the symbol has since then been adopted by, co-opted by the opposition. You would understand if you saw that, that someone who wrote that was clearly a member of the opposition and sought to speak through the walls to other members of the opposition. In, in Riga, there was something that was really interesting. It's this old industrial Soviet island that has since obviously been uh, emptied out, co-opted by the, the underground community. And so it's, you actually have to hop fences and go over train tracks in order to get there. But it's an entire island coated with the most beautiful murals I've ever seen. It's all political, all explicitly economic. And you would see things like... Um, like famous bankers with, with actually very accurate portrayals of their face and you would see them hailing Hitler or you would see, um, you know, a picture of the, the national folk hero of Latvia and he would be vomiting with his fingers down his throat with uh, booze bottles all over his feet. In St. Petersburg, you would see a lot of graffiti um, from a group called Group of Change and they would cover the city with things like, you know, stand up Russians, stop drinking, let's join together, let's meet on this date, let's, you know, fight against. But they weren't necessarily in my mind. They were looking for modernization, not necessarily like to create a viable political opposition. They were more so looking for Russians to argue for their more rights, more maintained rights, maybe less corruption. Uh, they were trying to create a revolution from underneath rather than to create, uh, create a new opposition.